Hey guys, it's your girl Lordy Lou back with you guys again. Um, I'm doing the infamous airbrush brows today. Um, this is my home girl. She's a makeup artist, so she decided to be my model today. First thing I'm doing with her is I'm going to shampoo her brows. I shampooed her brows with the Idore um, brow shampoo. Make sure you guys are cleaning your clients' brows. If you don't clean their brows, their stain is not gonna last. I don't care what brow um, tint henna whatever you use and make sure you're cleaning your clients brows and then i clean um i go in with alcohol to clean after i've done a shampoo now i'm going ahead and doing an outline and i'm using the stream method to outline her brows i'll leave a link for the stream um that i'm using the mapping stream i'm using excuse me uh, I do want to talk about a few things while I'm mapping her, her brows. Now, for you to do the airbrush brows, you do need a liquid developer. If you use the cream developer with that hybrid stain, it is not going to give you a good consistency um, to use that machine. It may get stuck. It may come out really weird. So make sure that you're using a liquid developer. I did leave a link for the Iodor hybrid stain kit just make sure that when you purchase it that you purchase the one with the liquid not the cream if you're trying to do the airbrush also keep in mind that the hybrid brow stain does contain ppd because it is a mix of henna and brow tint now ppd can cause um reactions on people's skin if a client's ever told you they got brow tint they reacted or henna and they reacted they'll react to the hybrid stain um now there is an alternative product which is the brow tint um the airbrush brow tint excuse me which i left the link below the airbrush brow tint is similar to the i adore regular brow tint that's like in the gel form this one is in a liquid form so that you can use it in the airbrush machine um it comes in three different shades like i said the link is below for that that one is hyperallergenic and it's pre-mixed brows and clean them up you're gonna go ahead and put the brow shape strips now you're just gonna follow the outline that you made if you don't have an outline you can freehand it I'm not that talented I like my brows to be as even as possible some people can if you can do you but me I like an outline and then I like to put my strips on um, making sure that you're using the back of your tweezers because I'm using tweezers to put it on it's easier for me and I'm just rubbing it against the strips only just to make sure that there's no air there's no gaps that the airbrush can seep into and basically go outside of the brow so 
now we're starting the airbrush process. Um, as you can see, I'm going back and forth with the airbrush machine. Um, you have to set your airbrush to how much product you want to come out. I put it to where there's not a lot of product coming out of it just because when I recorded this video way back when, it was my very first time doing the airbrush. So I was like, oh, less product is better for me. So, you know, just fix your settings how you please. Um, once I do what I would consider a good first layer, like where I feel like it's like a, a light layer on there, I'm going to take a Q-tip and just wipe the front so that I can get the ombre effect. then you will remove your strips you want to remove your strips immediately after you've done doing the airbrush because you want to make sure that none of that airbrush product got outside of the brow area as you can see there's like a little halo i'm using the brow tint remover from iodor to remove that and then if any of the brow tint got outside of the brows then you can still use that just to clean it up as well so it's so important that you take the strips off after you've airbrushed it so you can see if anything seeped out of their strips. So the next step would be to wipe the brows. In Courtney's case, I did not wipe her brows only because she wanted to wipe them later. But for the video purposes, I wanted you guys to see um, how bold the brows could be because if i use the mahogany and the pecan on her then this is as bold as it would be but you can just take some water wipe the brows but you have to let the stain sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes and that's gonna give you a bold brow or you can do 10 minutes in her case we use peanut which is a super light color so by her going home and wiping it like once she take a shower and stuff it's better for her because she's gonna allow that stain to penetrate the skin um and then you can just add your some concealer at the bottom or not it's you know preference So this is the end result. The brows look so good. I left a link for everything that I use below. Leave your comments below. Subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye.